First, we're going to talk about sensitivity coefficients, and, and we're going to come back to this equation for this sort of roundabout way of determining the, the length of a cylinder by measuring its mass, its diameter, and its density. And looking at if we made those three separate measurements and we put together an uncertainty budget for each of those measurements, how do we then add them together to get the overall uncertainty of our length determination based on those three measurements? And that's where we, we end up using that, that equation. Um, I've taken some values. Uh, I've inserted the value from our ongoing example for the diameter measurement, where say we, we measure 50 millimeter diameter and our uncertainty is 0 0.034 millimeters. Uh, I say the mass we measured is 2,000 grams, so 2 kilograms, and the uncertainty of, of the mass measurement at an expanded uncertainty level of with k equal to 2 is 0 0.1 grams. We measured the density to 0 0.0076 grams per cubic millimeters with an uncertainty of 0 0.00002 grams per cubic millimeters. And you might notice that um, that density is the density of steel. So I took that number and, and put in there. Uh, the uncertainties I, I've put in, uh, I looked up um, accredited laboratories doing mass and density kind of measurements. So, so these are sort of realistic uncertainties that, that laboratories can make these measurements to. And, and so together that uh, sets out our, our basic uncertainties for each of these three basic measurements. And so now we'll talk about how we then combine them together to come up with the uncertainty of determining the, the length based on um, based on these three measurements. And, and in principle, what we're going to do is we're going to um, take the actual measured values and put into the equation. And then we're going to first add the uncertainty of one of the contributors and then subtract it. And so here we have, for example, for, for the diameter measurement, we, we, we take the diameter and then we add the uncertainty of the of the diameter measurement to to the measured value and that gives us a, a minimum length and then in the next equation we subtract the the uncertainty of, of the diameter for from the value and calculate and then we get a maximum length and then from that we can calculate a sensitivity coefficient that is the difference in those two lengths divided by two times the uncertainty, because in one case we add an uncertainty and in the other we subtract an uncertainty. So basically what we find out is that when we vary the measured value for the diameter by two times the uncertainty, how much does the, the, the calculated length change? And so that is how we find out the sensitivity coefficient, basically the the slope of the relationship between the 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 diameter and the length.